In the first chapter of the letter of St. James, we hear the following words, Blessed is he who perseveres in temptation, for when he has been proven, he will receive the crown of life that God promised to those who love him. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and it seems pretty clear from this quote that temptation is a part of life. In fact, Jesus, sharing our life, becoming like us in all things but sin, was tempted. Of course, we tend to think that while Jesus was tempted, he couldn't have been tempted the way I am, tempted to lie and to cheat and to steal, tempted to gossip and to lust after others. Yet, the letter to the Hebrews chapter 4 says this, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. In other words, Jesus was tempted in every way that we are tempted, to do our own thing rather than to follow God's law and plan, to give in to the seven deadly sins. Temptation keeps us humble. It makes us realize we are not perfect and that we need God's help. And it makes us compassionate toward others who are also struggling to be good. Temptation also gives us an opportunity to exercise the virtues. For every temptation, there is an opposite virtue in which we can grow as we battle the temptation. For gossip, it's charity. For lust, it's chastity. For despair, it's hope. For impatience, it's obviously patience. So persevere in battling your temptations today so that you can grow in virtue and receive the crown that God has prepared for you in heaven.